working in the Red Sea is a special kind of challenge because so little research has been done here historically. We know very little about what these animals are doing, where they go, where they're breeding. Most likely they're all very susceptible to um, even small amounts of fishing pressure. Having these types of um, information would be extremely valuable in, in terms of protecting them. ocean environment is um, very vast and deep and uh, even locating the largest fish can be quite difficult. Perhaps we could um, actively follow some of these fish but it would be uh, incredibly time intensive. Um, so we use some technologies that allow us to um, put tags on these fish and essentially do the work for us. ISAT comes as a platform that links together the environmental information like for example temperature or wind speed and puts it together with the location of the fish so we can have a much deeper insight uh, of where the fish likes spending its time even if it adventures into long-range swims like for example the whale sharks do. By finding novel ways of applying technology to answer difficult ecological questions, um, we now know a lot more than we ever have about some of the Red Sea's most important fish. Uh, and as our research continues, we'll be able to share this information with the Saudi Arabian community and with government authorities who can then work together to enforce regulations that protect resources for future generations.